Well, Australia invented the most controversial and groundbreaking social experiment back in 2015, and since then, maths has taken off right around the world. In search of their happy ever after. I want to feel secure. That safety net. Somebody that says, finally, I've got you. A new set of brave brides. If it's worth the risk, then I'm going to take it. And equally courageous grooms. I'm getting married to a stranger. Are putting their hearts on the line. The greatest risk of all is love. Taking an extraordinary leap of faith. I really hope that he's the one. I really need this to be it. As they marry at first sight. Wow. Strange watching it with British accents, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Uh, the latest UK season has been making headlines just about everywhere, so we have brought in maths expert Mel Schilling to tell us all about it. Mel. Mel. Hello. <laughs> so from today, <laughs> Aussies are going to be able to watch the latest UK maths. Yes, I'm so excited that Aussies get to see this. But I'm just wondering, do you think we need subtitles? <laughs> no. Only for some of the districts, some I of think. Those, you know. Some of the more northern accents. Yeah. When they get up north, it's a, bit, it's a bit harder. Yeah. Um, well, look, tell us about what we can expect. What are the contestants like in yeah. this series? I've never seen such diversity on a reality show ever. I know that's, that's a big good. call. That's a huge that's call. That's really good. I mean, it's it's incredible. We have our first trans contestant wow. contributor, I should say. <laughs> we have a woman with a disability. We wow. have the most incredible group of people. And how is that working within the boundaries of the show? Because you know what we've seen here, it could be quite you know, there'd be quite um, people could be quite verbal intense. with each other, very yeah. tense, very, yeah. a lot of drama. Yeah. But how are they accepting of other people? Great question. And, and talking about the boundaries of the show, obviously we know this show is built on the premise that two people come together on their wedding day knowing nothing about each mm. other. Yes. Now, obviously, bringing in Ella, who is trans, we needed informed consent. So we did, we bent the rules and we made sure that her potential husband was very aware that he was stepping into a new relationship with a trans woman and he was absolutely on board great. with that. So that was great. We've got that covered off. And now she's there, she's in the mix, and she's just Ella. Yeah. You yes. know, the group have just absolutely embraced it should be. Her. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how does it compare to the Aussie season? <laughs> like, is it is more drama or...? Do you know, it's, it's, it's different, but what probably astounds me overall is the similarities. Mm. Right. You know, I think I went into the UK series three years ago now with all these preconceived ideas, thinking they'd be all stiff upper lip and British and, you know, yes. reserved and maybe a little bit to begin with. But I think now if you were to put the two shows on side by side and turn the sound off, you probably wouldn't know the difference. What about okay. the, you know, there's been a lot of talk in the last few seasons here about the men and how there's been a sort of toxicity to the masculinity coming through. Yeah. Um, is that different in London or is that still prevalent? I want to know if that's a sort of global issue. Honey, it's global. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really upset to say some of those characteristics we absolutely see. And in this season of the, the upcoming UK season, you'll see behaviours like really uncomfortable grooming, sort of love bombing type behaviour. Oh. Really interesting. Which you have to address. Is that absolutely. called out by yeah. everybody? It is. And you know what? We actually come down a lot harder in the UK than we do here. In this upcoming season, I'll, I'll drop a couple of bombs here. Go on. We ask a couple to leave because their relationship is so toxic. Really? So do you feel like you should be a little bit more like harsher in the Australian series? We're getting harsher in the Australian yeah. season this, yeah. this current season I, too. You, you yeah. are filming now. so We are that, halfway so through. Anything that you can... I don't want any spoilers because I, I, I like it in real time. But yes. Anything you can tell us that we're going to have some... Explosions? Do you know what I'm like? That, <laughs> That's not what I meant. I mean, for ratings. Yes. <laughs> Live TV. There will be. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what I am loving about the current Aussie season is, you know, I mentioned diversity before. Mm. It's a really different mix of people this year. It's a really right. fresh take. Cool. So much more kind of relatable, someone you might bump into, you know, down at the service station. You All know, right. really girl and boy next door type people, which means that when those explosions do happen, <laughs> it's, it's really surprising. I love explosions. Can we, can we, by the time it comes to air, we'll call it something else, Mel. We'll, let's workshop this off air. But we can't wait. I would really want to get into the UK version. Oh, you yeah, really bad. piqued my curiosity there. Yeah, Great to see it. you. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, guys. You can watch UK Math season on at nine now today. It drops weekly, I think, so we can keep up with it that way. That's going to be good. Yeah. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?